friends, welcome to my channel, Progress with Professor Mohamani. First of all, I thank all my viewers and subscribers for your continuous support. Uh, please subscribe my channel. So, my viewers and subscription ratio is very poor. So, I have more than 2000 unique uh, viewers. But if I look at the number of subscription, is only for far around 450. So, I hope uh, you will support by subscribing my channel. And friends, please share this video to all your friends, those who are doing research in uh, composite material. And please give your feedback in terms of like or dislike or give it into the comment box. And further, if you want to uh, any specific questions, you put it into the comment box, I will give answer. So, uh, if your question is very long or uh, many people are asking same question, I will put video for that. So, now uh, we will go to the today's video. Uh, friends, the title of the video is PubMed, PubMed Center, a source for interdisciplinary research on polymer composite material. Uh, so, in this video, I am going to talk about, so I am going to share some of the useful tips for testing polymer matrix composite into the biomedical applications. So, PubMed is the, uh, it's a one of the database, research database. This is mainly used by the uh, medical research, clinical research, social related researches. But uh, for our interdisciplinary research, so we need to refer this uh, particular database also. If you go to next slide, uh, the outline of uh, today's talk is research trend in the developed countries. And uh, second uh, point is scope for interdisciplinary research on polymer composite material. Third uh, topic is role of PubMed central database for interdisciplinary research on composite material. If you go to next slide, uh, change in research trend. So this uh, I want to uh, share a few of the interesting thing. Some of the researchers from the developed country like Germany, Japan, uh, already I said they, they will follow a different strategy. So, uh, so here our Indian researcher, they mainly focus only the research article writing. Simply they will uh, do some research. So it is a very good research. They will publish in uh, uh, IM journal or uh, high, highly rated journals. And simply their findings, everything, it will be simply sleeping. It will be for somebody's reference, but it will not go to real-time application. Whereas some uh, researcher from some developed countries like Germany, Japan, this kind of country, they are doing research in four steps. Uh, research paper writing. So, uh, second one, uh, their strategy is paper, product, patent and selling. So, four aspects will be covered in their research. So, first one is research paper. They are writing research article like our Indian research scholar. Then uh, they will do the, they will develop the product. Uh, they will develop the product. They will go for product based testing. They will go for product based testing. Then after uh, product, uh, they will test rigor rigorously for the application point of view. Then uh, finally, if it is shoot, uh, shoot for application, immediately they will go for patent filing. Then after patent filing, they will go for commercialization. They will go for commercialization. Finally, they are finding it will go to some real time usage of uh, some industry or some consumer. So this is the style of uh, some uh, some style of the researcher who are from some developed countries. So here I think uh, you can understand the gap between the work the work culture of Indian researcher and the other other researcher, right? Our we will focus only publications. They are going up to product and the commercialization up to that. If you go to the next slide, uh, uh, ways to change the trend. So uh, we are in position to change the trend. So if you are uh, doing research simply on paper or uh, it will be used to, to cite somebody, so it doesn't use. So uh, here we need to do some application oriented research. So funding agency like DST, CSAR, many funding agency, uh, today they are focusing the application oriented research. So we need to move, it is a time to move. And the second point, the development of product and testing for a real time application. You are, uh, you, your research include to develop some product. That product uh, need to be tested with respect to real time application. For uh, real time application oriented testing, we need to carry out. Simply uh, doing some traditional test, it doesn't work. Third one is uh, we need to do collaborative research. For example, uh, if you are doing research uh, with collaborative way, definitely then only it will go for application. Some uh, instrument design, fabrication, modeling, simulation, this area, we are good. A mechanical engineer are good. Whereas uh, the end user, it will be the some uh, medical, who are in medical field, particularly biomedical engineering field. So, uh, if you look at the uh, some research centers, uh, some research centers, uh, 
they will form the team like that. One uh, CAD engineer, one design engineer, manufacturing engineer, right? Uh, the biomedical engineer. So different uh, field. Uh, some program related work. Uh, they will put some IT, CSC, and the communication means some communication engineers like that. Uh, they will form the team. So they will be uh, each and every member from some uh, in, uh, in different specialization. So that team, uh, it's a very good team to develop the product. So similar way, at least we need to collaborate with the two people. Uh, the collaborative research, if you look at the Facebook group, for example, I am seeing many groups in Facebook. So nowadays I have seen each and every group uh, around 2,000 numbers, 3,000 numbers are there. Similarly, in Facebook recently I see there is a biomedical research group. So that particular group uh, we become member and uh, we need to select some right person to collaborate. So that person they will uh, explain. So uh, this particular product for real time application, I mean biomedical application point of view, what kind of test we need to carry out. He will explain all the ethics, everything. So this kind of uh, collaboration definitely we can develop some useful product that is uh, uh, the need for our country. So if you are doing this, uh, this research, uh, this uh, collaborative research, so definitely you will get publication in highly ranked journal. Today uh, I am seeing many research scholars, they are doing research in polymer matrix composite. Simply they will do characterization, mechanical property, that's all. So many journals simply they will reject. So uh, today's general expectation also changed. They are uh, looking for some application oriented research. So once if you are doing application oriented research, definitely you can able to publish in highly ranked journal. And second one, if you develop here, uh, your research is uh, completely different. You are developing a product, right, and uh, you are testing for real-time application. So that real-time application is successful immediately, you can go for patent filing. Along with uh, paper publication, you can parallelly you can go for patent filing also. This is a very good aspect. Nowadays, uh, the India, many innovation cells, uh, so many bodies are there to check each and every engineering college, university. They are assessing NIR of uh, ranking, they are, uh, the number of patent filed or patent granted. So this is an uh, important criteria. So that uh, today all the uh, faculty members who are working in engineering college and university, you need to focus the patent filing also. So this kind of research definitely it will promote the patent filing. And uh, finally, your product you need to go for real-time usage. So that is the main concept of uh, the research that need to be changed. Whatever product you are doing that need to go for real-time application. So, uh, so I hope you can understand. Simply, we should know, we need to uh, move little bit uh, towards the some other country. So the style which are followed by the uh, the researcher who are from some developed countries. If you go to next slide, the traditional research on polymer polymer composite. You have, many people are asking, sir, why you are taking composite material? So this composite material can be easily collaborate with uh, biomedical applications. So particularly we are, our uh, polymer matrix composite and the one more technology for mechanical engineering is the IDT manufacturing 3D printing. So these technologies are there. Uh, IDT manufacturing, 3D printing and the CAD modeling. So this kind of uh, area, so uh, it is very closely related to biomedical application. So here what to do? Simply if you are going for material based uh, general or material based database or general database, it will give only general journals. We, uh, we can't get it. Uh, the application oriented journal. So we, we are uh, looking for some application oriented uh, the database. From that we are uh, referring some papers. So we are uh, finding the ethics, we are finding some new property, I mean application oriented properties and we are doing. So this slide, uh, you can look at this slide. I am uh, talking about the traditional research on polymer matrix composite. You take any uh, Indian research scholar, you take uh, Kashmir to Kanyamuri, uh, all the people, they will follow this uh, particular style of research. Polymer matrix composite means uh, they will develop some polymer matrix composite by using some injection molding or uh, some other process. Or some people uh, recently, they are uh, making polymer matrix composite by using 3D printing. And after making the polymer matrix composite, simply they will test the mechanical property. Their style, it will go synthesis, characterization and the evaluation of mechanical property. They, uh, they will do only these three things. So uh, doing this three, uh, friends, you will really be uh, doing this uh, uh, evaluating simply mechanical property. It doesn't make any application, doesn't make any sense. If you are sending the paper, the uh, highly rated journal, they will not accept so, uh, this kind of simply simple mechanical properties. So uh, mainly uh, you refer the literatures uh, simply once after development mechanical property, I mean uh, the polymer composites are developed, sometimes they will, they will study the physical properties like density studies. 
and again they will go for a harness harness test so uh, using weaker hardener and the disho rubber based composite they will use a new harness uh, evaluation technique i mean uh, evaluation then somebody they will study ultimate tensile strength uh, then yield strength modulus elongation impact strength and thermal property thermal uh, property they will simply study the thermo gravimetric analysis they will finish their research they will publish one or two paper and uh, they will go for thesis submission so this is uh, this kind of research no way it will helpful to society we need to do uh, the application oriented research then only we will get the credit credit in all the aspect uh, paper publication patent filing uh, industry interaction collaboration right uh, so that uh, many component many component uh, today it will be fulfilled so if we go to next slide uh, the application oriented test so application oriented test i searched in the pubmed database already i said that uh, database is for uh, uh, medical this database you can get the article from medical research uh, then social related research biomedical applications so biotechnology so this kind of area you will get the articles so i gone through so i got some uh, few properties which is expected in biomedical applications for example first property is fatigue strength so fatigue strength you know uh, for example you know um, uh, suppose if you are developing a tentel material uh, replacement for tentel material so that fatigue strength is important fatigue strength means you should not test uh, for the conventional fatigue test that is different so here uh, so you are making the tentel material you are uh, uh, developing a alternate material for the tentel tentel applications so that uh, that application oriented test so, uh, so we, we need to choose the parameter like that and second one uh, abrasion and wear properties wear properties you people also doing composite material aluminum composite and some other comp metal matrix composite they will develop they will do the uh, tribology test tribology test and wear test they will do but here you need to go for pyro tribology condition for example if you are making some tentel ceramic or you are making some ceramic material teeth also one of the ceramic material you know you need to test the pyro tribology conditions not uh, conventional dry sliding test and uh, what another important property is viscoelastic property so viscoelastic property means uh, the uh, dimensional stability over the period so how long uh, this uh, bio materials or uh, this bio material retain its shape right uh, this is called dimensional stability over the period so that uh, that also one of the important test for biomedical application and again uh, fourth property is swelling in the various media uh, different medias are there uh, there uh, once if you are putting if the material is exposed your biomaterial is exposed to that media what is the swelling dimension so uh, whether it is increasing or shrinking so we need to study that property also that is very important for biomedical application if we go to next slide Uh, the permeability test the permeability test uh, mechanical engineer we are doing at uh, foundry foundry sand uh, we are testing the permeability but here permeability test means a biomedical application penetration of water you are developing some material what is the penetration of water so that is also, this is also called the permeability and uh, gas and finally micro biomolecules micro biomolecules this also uh, 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 this kind of bio, uh, permeability test we need to do and uh, another property is biomedical interaction study on human tissues and biofluid see uh, suppose if you are doing any uh, the material or uh, some uh, fracture they are using, they are developing some material some plates or some biomaterial they will develop they are uh, they need to study with uh, the interaction when the material the developed material polymer composite material making interaction with uh, our body that means human tissues and biofluid how it will behave so this kind of study also it is available another one is bio compatibility test like uh, thrombosis and uh, thrombosis means interaction and adhesion of blood so you are developing some material polymer composite material there you study the interaction and adhesion of blood so that is called the thrombosis set right? uh, there is a exclusive experimental setup it is available so almost all the clinical research so many medical colleges uh, many places it is available so uh, all the uh, uh, this facility available for consultancy and if you go to another property bio implant standard test bio implant suppose if you are doing uh, each and every place you need to do it some place uh, no load will apply so that place you need not bother some place uh, you will get a uh, load for example uh, here there is some fracture in my hand there i am putting some bio implant so while doing while loading if i am uh, while working some load will be acted so uh, each and every part we need to look at right uh, this is called the bio implant standard test 
if you go to next slide uh, then another interesting thing is covid 19 so this covid 19 period uh, it is giving lot of uh, new avenues opened a new research avenues so there uh, covid 19 safety application you need to design your research for covid 19 safety related application for example i can uh, name few one, uh, one is uh, automatic sanitation feeding so if you go to some hotels or somewhere uh, just show your hand automatically the sanitizer of uh, the mouth will be open then it will supply some unique quantity of fluid so that you can use use for your hand and the studies on antimicrobial coating antimicrobial paints many are there you develop polymer matrix composite you do some coating so you look at the uh, antimicrobial uh, behavior also uh, nowadays i think the face mask also they are using that uh, cloth they are doing they are applying coating to this so this also an interesting research similarly you develop uh, composite material polymer composite material uh, by a composite polymer composite means that biopolymer you can uh, give a coating and you can conduct study and uh, another uh, property another application is development of covid 19 safety device safety device safety instruments tag packaging material the packaging material uh, they are making in company i think many people they will touch uh, they will touch the component right the quality control fabrication then uh, retailer wholesaler the shop fellow so each and every one they will handle it so today's uh, covid 19 context it is very very risky so uh, the packing some uh, low cost antimicrobial coating so there uh, we can conduct study and another interesting one tag i said the tag means so there is a chlorine tag it is available commercially nowadays so I did not review. So once if you are wearing a chlorine tag like your ID card, uh, within uh, three to four feet surrounding, it does not allow any virus like coronavirus or any virus. So this is a, already came for commercial application. Uh, so I did not use it so far. So this kind of research uh, you can involve yourself so that uh, what happened? You can publish papers, you can file a patent. So finally, the, your product that will go for uh, real time application also. So this is the style you need to change it. In the polymer matrix composite today now we have reached a saturated state. Simply today if you are evaluating mechanical property and uh, simply uh, try to uh, try for publication, so it will be summarily rejected. You need to try some uh, properties. So far uh, I discussed many biomedical application oriented properties. All the proper biomedical related properties, uh, the consultancy facilities it is available. You can uh, check in internet also. So, uh, some, some uh, facilities are available, some universities, otherwise some research centre are available at uh, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad. So, this kind of research centre, it is available. So, uh, this is available for consultancy, just paying some money, you can do that. So, that uh, this, uh, whatever research you are doing, it is going for publication. In uh, publication means not simply in the local journal, it is going for high rated journal like uh, Elsewhere, Springer, Taylor and Francis. And you can, from that you can develop the product. Right after uh, testing the product, everything then uh, polymer matrix composite simply what happened? We are uh, simply making the tensile specimen and we will test it. So, here we are making product and we are going for test. So, uh, definitely, this uh, by using the product, you can go for patent filing. So, that, that is very important for uh, the university and engineering college teachers. So, finally, if it goes for real time application or uh, through uh, some commercialization, so it is uh, it is your success. So, uh, uh, if, we, if I go to next one, next slide, the role of uh, PubMed data, if you look at that, role of PubMed data database, PubMed database for polymer composite research. So, how this uh, database, so this database already I explained, so you, you can, uh, there in this database you can get uh, the research articles from biomedical engineering, medical research, clinical research, some pharmacy, pharmaceutical research, everything, you will get the paper. Whereas, if you go to some other database or simply Google, it will give all uh, all the information, but here you get it only the application oriented biomedical related field. You need to get the article so that for uh, getting biomedical and the clinical research related uh, uh, journals, journal article, you will get it. So I gone through a little bit and uh, I got uh, this many properties. So uh, if you go for some detailed uh, literature survey, definitely you will get a very good problem so that uh, uh, you can solve it. And the detail, if you go to the PubMed database, there are details like uh, many biomedical product details. Some biomedical product, product details are available. Some uh, biomedical property testing, testings are available. So that uh, biomedical properties I listed already, I discussed. The challenges in the biomedical field, uh, there are many challenges. 
so this is a challenge challenge so you can uh, take one challenge and discuss with our team so you can uh, try to give the solution so that database it is giving this many information and uh, coming to our strength uh, uh, being a mechanical engineering or manufacturing engineering i think you know polymer matrix composite it's a uh, uh, interdisciplinary field so mechanical engineer they will do research in polymer composite i mean composite material manufacturing engineers do material engineers do metallurgists they will do and the chemistry people do the physics people do and the nano people will do nano technology nano technology mean they will develop nano composites and uh, so like that uh, i mean uh, biotechnology field they will develop bio composites and uh, that uh, they will call that is the bio composite i mean bio uh, bio engineering or biotechnology engineers so this is the interdisciplinary area right uh, being a mechanical engineer or manufacturing engineer your strength is making 3d component modeling and simulation so you have a skill you know a lot of softwares right you can be able to model uh, the any complicated design any product biomedical application product the device anything you can model it and you can simulate the real time application uh, how it performs at the real time so this is one of your strength and uh, similarly your uh, manufacturing or mechanical engineer your uh, latest advancement advancement is 3d printer so uh, once if you made a make a model 3d model you can directly you can print it then another technology is additive manufacturing technology so 3d printing additive manufacturing technology today is a uh, trending it is in trending if you are doing any uh, you if you are preparing polymer matrix composite by using uh, uh, this uh, technology and you are evaluating just adding along with mechanical property you can uh, select one or two biomedical related properties and if you go for publication definitely your article will be uh, get more successful that will be referred to by many authors so that you will get more citations you will get patent everything so here uh, through this slide i am conveying only one thing uh, in the pub, uh, pubmed database we are getting biomedical product details biomedical properties i mean biomedical properties and the challenges faced by the biomedical engineers biomedical engineers so our strength is uh, 3d component model modeling and simulation 3d printing additive manufacturing technology if you are uh, Uh, that uh, detail, that the properties, and if you are strength, if you are combined together, definitely you can do a very good research in the polymer matrix composite. So that uh, what happened easily, you can uh, publish a paper with uh, high impact factor journal. So that is possible. But here uh, you need to do some uh, some effort. So uh, whatever biomedical property I listed, I discussed. So all are available uh, uh, available for consultancy. You can go for uh, internet search. Definitely you will get it. Uh, friends let us go to a uh, demonstration about uh, the pubmed database so how to access the paper i will give a little introduction and database so i am opening the chrome browser so i am opening the google i mean google window i am just typing the pubmed so pubmed database so it is navigating into pubmed you click the first link there uh, you have a window so here you can directly uh, put your title suppose if you are doing research on bio composite for bone replacement so suppose you are uh, selecting a title like this topic like this you, you can directly paste and uh, you can search it so uh, so before going for search i want to give some details some introduction introductory detail so what is mean by pubmed so pubmed means uh, it's a free resource supporting the search and retrieval biomedical and life science literature so biomedical and uh, life science literature with the aim of uh, improving health body globally and personally and the pubmed database contains more than 30 million citation and abstracts of biomedical literature it does not induce full text journal article uh, does not include full text journal article however link to full text are often present when available from the other sources such as uh, publisher website like uh, pubmed central so we are going to talk about uh, how to search the literature in pubmed as well as uh, pubmed central it is called pmc so first we will go to the pubmed so pubmed window it is available i am pasting the uh, search so i am clicking so directly it is navigating so uh, there it is very clearly given here we will get only abstract and uh, data Uh, if you want to have a full paper uh, we can go for pubmed central so you look at that uh, so many papers many articles related to biomedical application if you go for google search uh, so google search many unwanted information will come 
right if you go for uh, specifically in that pubmed website so you will get the biomedical related uh, literatures so this is uh, very closely related to polymer matrix composite as well as uh, 3d printing and uh, additive manufacturing technology so uh, here you look at that uh, there are a lot of uh, biomedical oriented articles are available so if you go through it for example inorganic material for bone repair or replacement applications so you can develop the uh, you look at the existing material you develop the polymer matrix composite so that you will get the weight reduction biocompatibility everything you will get it if you are developing material for good uh, biocompatibility lesser weight and uh, it is responding the various uh, interaction property human body interaction tissue interaction blood interaction and uh, body fluid interaction if it is good uh, if it is uh, okay then uh, you can replace it so moreover polymer based composites cost is very less and uh, different com many complicated shapes you can uh, get it through additive manufacturing or 3d printing technology uh, this is about uh, pubmed and uh, now i am going to how to search the literature in the pubmed central pubmed central already i said here you can access the article right pubmed central i am clicking it is navigating into pmc website uh, there you go there here you have a window pmc it is available pubmed uh, central so here you can title uh, you can type the type your title suppose i am typing uh, 3d printing of biocomposites i am typing uh, pasting i am giving search it is going to article direct this article directly it is going you can uh, select it for example three dimensional printing for micro fluids or other way around so just click the article directly it is going to the database directly if you are entering this is a full paper it is in html form even if you want to download in pdf form also it is possible so in this way you can uh, get your related article i mean application oriented article particularly biomedical oriented application and you integrate with your polymer matrix composite technique and you can develop via 3d printing and additive manufacturing definitely you can do a very good research so that you can able to publish a uh, papers in highly high rated journals you can develop the patent because all are application oriented testing definitely you can file a patent uh, you will get a grant also and uh, you can make a product you can do commercialization so it will be very useful to society so this kind of research is um, uh, very much required for countries like our india so with this i am concluding my video before conclusion i am once again i am uh, requesting you to uh, please subscribe my channel and please share this video uh, to somebody uh, like uh, biomedical engineers or uh, the, i mean researcher who are doing research in polymer matrix composite please give give your feedback in like or uh, like or dislike or uh, you can give your comment uh, you give your comment in the video comment box please so thanks for watching